do you know much about the DuPont the the DuPont uh, Teflon scandal? Uh, I know a fair amount. I'm I'm kind of remembering back to my uh, my days in in some law classes. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know it, it was the uh, largest punitive damage ever uh, ever basically awarded at the time. I think on the order of sixty million, right, due to the cover up. Yeah. How did so? So what what is the thing in Teflon that they were putting in that and how widespread is it is the chemical? Right. So uh, if my memory serves me, they're referring to the the perfluorinated compounds that are in the Teflon. And these are hydrophobic uh, chemicals that are basically repel water. They're used very, very uh, prevalently, not only in Teflon, but um, different kinds of, uh, of perfluorinated compounds are used to spray down, uh, you know, couches and fabrics and things that, you know, are supposed to be stain resistant. So if you spill pizza on the couch, it'll be less likely to stain and, and so on and so forth. So um, these, unfortunately, these compounds have become extremely prevalent in the environment, very widespread, uh, virtually ubiquitous in the environment. So, you know, almost anywhere you measure, you're going to find these perfluorinated compounds. It's very similar to... Um, you know, each each decade that passes, there's just some chemical that, re, that replaces the prior chemical, uh, but it's the same story over and over. And throughout uh, history of environmental contamination, we've seen PCBs, uh, uh, which were polycyclic uh, or polychlorinated biphenyls and also DDT uh, insecticide. And, uh, and these are just ubiquitous in the environment today. And now we're seeing similar story play out with these uh, perfluorinated compounds. Uh, there's flame retardants, similar uh, brominated flame retardants used to spray down upholstery, prevent them from becoming fire, uh, you know, prevent them from uh, burning that have been used in all kinds of upholstery, couches and bedding and stuff. And, and this stuff is, some of these chemicals look pretty similar to very toxic constituents that we're aware of in the past. And they're just all over the environment today. Uh, phthalates, phthalates are used in, you know, all types of phthalates are used in all types of plastics. As you know, plastics are virtually everywhere in our environment today. So basically, we can measure phthalates now in the air. Uh, we can measure them in the dust, uh, sometimes levels that are extremely high in the percent range of, of dust when we measure dust. So uh, yeah, these hopefully have answered some of your question about perfluorinated compounds, but also how this story is, is very similar and, and probably will continue in the shape of some other chemical down the road. Yeah. I mean